Hello, my name is Julibert Garcia Paz. I am a student. I am a student in Latin American University in sixth quarter of teaching English degree. This project is for English six. The topic is innovate methods for teaching English at secondary level. Okay, now there are oh, there are seven techniques that you can try, but this level. Okay, the number one is simulate debate and discussion. It's important when you are teaching English, you speak in English. Okay, you try. Um, a little bit English, speaking a little bit English, or so much, okay? This is gradual. For this, it's important that you use TV shows, uh, fiction or character fictions, or interesting topic for the student. Because in this level, it's difficult the interest to the student. Because oh they they thought that they are oh, English oh it's poor okay but you can use innovative method techniques strategies or different strategies to teach in this language and as a number two is try the immersive reading activities the uh, reading in English is difficult because right in spanish they they aren't okay uh, in this part they don't like they don't like it but in english is more difficult for them for this reason you use a uh, you can use music compose music or use paint or can you use mind maps after the lecture is a great strategy great technique in particular for me i use but it's great in my classroom it's great as a number three is boost writing in funny ways for this language, you remember that the is you need is you want to improve about it about it. You can use practice, 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 practice. Oh, maybe you think oh it's really nice when someone is speaking English or someone speak French. Oh, it's good, but. What is the ingredient, a special ingredient for successful? Okay, is practice. You can use bloggers or a, a websites to write, but in funny way, funny way. Okay. Another is create a list of grammar-based apps. Actually, the technology is advanced, okay? The technology is used for, for child, children, uh, teenagers, adults, citizens, or ancients, every day, in every moment, 24 on 7 days okay but in this moment is our opportunity to use this technology for as an advantage for this language for example you can use for example in this quarantine everybody use uh, this is the relationship the book the creating a list of grammar based apps 
with Maximis, the potential online tools. Because you can use us to grammar, okay, to teaching grammar. For example, Grammarly is a good app to teaching the grammar, okay? You can use the social network in YouTube, you can, you, you can use, uh, you can find so much tutorials about that. And now, this is a moment of the use this technology for as an advantage for us, okay? Uh, this moment, we are a tutors. We aren't a teachers. We aren't teachers. We are tutors, okay, of our students. Uh, and the online tools, maybe you can use uh, the Zoom, uh, Modo, or another platforms to teach in this. Or maybe for WhatsApp, and the another technique is build an inspirational, okay, a space. If you have a classroom, English classroom, it's necessary to decorate and use visual uh, aids, okay? For example, in my classroom, I I am always use this, okay? You can use flashcards, posters on another. In my classes online, this is my classroom. In my house, this is my classroom in this quarantine. Uh, for example, this is for my daily routine. This is my board, blackboard and use this part to teach in English. If I am sure that it's okay for my students. If the moms and dads told me that it's good. And, and for final, is use self and peer assessment for motivation. Remember, the evaluation not is for stressful your students, is uh, maybe you can use this moment as a relaxing time or maybe you can uh, play with them on another, uh, use games or uh, co-evaluation between them or collaborative evaluation for the chill, the these teenagers, okay? But you remember, the English today is easy for the students because they, they are on the hands of the technology. And it should depend, the English is funny or is really bored, oh, okay? I hope that this information is good for you and thank you so much for your attention. Bye-bye.